the photographs are striking. But they also are powerful images of resistance, individuals determined to defy racial stereotypes imposed by the white establishment. Abolitionist Frederick Douglass, a man born into slavery, this portrait was taken five years before the Civil War. Jack Johnson, in 1910, he beat a white boxer to become the first black heavyweight champion of the world. Academy Award nominated actress Dorothy Dandridge, alluringly photographed during the height of segregation in 1955. They all are images that convey a form of resistance, explains curator Deborah Willis. I started going through the photographs, I noticed that there was a, a conscious effort by some of the subjects to consider what they thought about having their portrait made and what stories they wanted to tell about their lives. Willis is a winner of the MacArthur Fellowship, commonly known as the Genius Award. She spent 30 years writing about the black American image in photography. I thought about the images that were made during that time, such as images of Frederick Douglass and Henry Highland Garnett. Their photographs told a different story from the images that were in the larger culture. Born a slave, Henry Highland Garnett went on to become a leading abolitionist. 20 years before the Civil War, he urged slaves to rise up and emancipate themselves. With the rallying cry, let your motto be resistance. Early in the 20th century, portraits of W.E.B. Du Bois, founder of the NAACP, and of other African-American intellectuals drew attention. We see uh, a black man in a public space. Rarely would we see that um, in, during that time. As the president of Tuskegee Institute, Booker T. Washington understood the power of the photographic image. This shot by African-American photographer Arthur Badeau in 1915 shows Washington in clear command of his audience. 